Okay, sweetheart. So if if you stand, let's let's do the work. I'm scared with because of her ris- risky sexual behavior. So engages in risky sexual behavior. Is that true? It is true. She engages in risky sexual behavior. Can you absolutely know that it's true that she engages in risky sexual behavior? Yes. Okay. So now that third question. How do you react? What happens to your life when you think this thought? Uh, I go through a whole gamut of emotions. Um, I get scared. Um, I get angry. I get um, just frantic about her future and whether she's going to make it or not. Okay. How do you react when you think that thought? The one that you have on your children. Okay, the first thing that happens is you see images. Mm -hmm. You see that in your head? Mm -hmm. And then you experience the fear. Mm -hmm. Now, those images of her, Mm -hmm. they are of past and future. Right. You see them? Mm -hmm. And you think that's her. Right. Now, is that imagination or is that your daughter? That's history. Is it imagination? You see that image? How many of you see in your mind's eye? You've never met her. (laughs) You've never met her. But that doesn't stop us from seeing her. It doesn't stop you from seeing her. Now, is that we see or is that pure imagination? Imagination. So in your head, you see that image of her. Mm -hmm. Is that real? The image in your head, is it real? I mean, look at it. Look at her face. It's probably very blurry. And what's she wearing? (laughs) I mean, it's a blur. You see the image, you think, engages in risky sexual behavior, that image happens, and then you get sick. Who would you be in that moment without the thought engages in risky sexual behavior? Just in that moment. And it's easy to find if you look at yourself just prior to the thought. Right. Weren't you great? Yes. Okay, is it causing your terror, your emotions, or is it what you're thinking and believing about her in that moment? Well, just, I know. In, just in that moment. It's my imagination. So you see the difference in internal cause and effect. Turn it around. Engages in risky sexual behavior. Turn around. I engage in? Risky sexual behavior. Give me an example of where you engage in risky sexual behavior. When I was 20. <laughs> okay. How many of you have engaged in risky sexual behavior? <laughs> Give me another example. I engage in um, risky sexual behavior. Well, I engage in risky behavior when I'm angry and I'm driving. It's one thing I thought of yesterday. Yeah, we'll stop that. (laughs) I mean, is that what you expect our children to do? Stop that. I can't. You do it. Or I'm going to give you the look. I'm going to I'm going to be victim maybe that'll work. See how you've hurt me. See what you're doing to me. Can you find another example? I engage in risky sexual behavior. You see those images when you think the thought engages in risky sexual sexual behavior. Those images in your head, you see her in those situations sexually that are really risky? You see them vividly sometimes. Oh, yeah. I hear them. Okay. You are engaging in risky sexual behavior, and you're using your daughter's body.
That's not her. Have you ever seen her having sex? No. Other than in your head? No. That is all yours. And do you replay it? I try not to. Oh, well. <laughs> you just keep well, engaging in risky sexual behavior. Well, again, I had to live through her getting raped, which... Oh, that's a good one. Vividness. That's a good one. I think being raped once is enough without yeah. you just doing it over yeah. and over and right. over in right. her name. Right. Well, that's one of you the problems. You want her to stop problems. engaging in risky sexual behavior, you do it first. Every time those images right. appear in your head, go, whoops, I am so upset. That wasn't her, that was me again. She says, Mom, I'm going to the theater tonight. And your mind goes, risky sexual behavior. Yeah. Who's doing it to you? I am. So the way we treat them when we believe this thought, those thoughts on your paper, we owe amends to ourself. We need to become more gentle. And just notice. It, for me, it was self-talk. It was like I would see Roxanne, for example, dead and rolling over. I'd see her raped. I would see her. I can't tell you how many times I saw her raped. But it was me raping her, all those images. And, and then she would show up. Your daughter was raped, and then she showed up. But... I needed to stop killing my daughter in my head. Okay, my one piece that I just also want to get is how then to protect myself when these things happen. And, of course, it's the pain and the toxicness of the events engulf everybody. Oh, you know, for me, it was just really simple, love my daughter. When I'm holding her hand, if I'm watching these, this movie going on, I'm not with my daughter. I'm busy raping her. Thank you. Okay, another turnaround. Engages in risky sexual behavior. That's what you wrote, okay? Turnaround doesn't. Say that one. Doesn't engage in risky sexual behavior. Give me an example. It's very important. She goes to school all day and doesn't engage in risky sexual behavior. Wow. Give me another example. You know when I say give me another example, it's just my way of saying give you one. Give you another one. Give you another one because you need it. It's medicine. These turnarounds are medicine. She spends a lot of time at home where she's not engaging in risky sexual behavior. And then feel these things, contemplate them. You begin to respect your children. You begin to gain respect and understanding where there wasn't much in some of our situations. Can you find another one? Uh, many... Many times she does uh, go out with friends and people where she is not engaging in risky sexual behavior. Yeah, I have a thought. When she is with somebody, what else could she be doing? Uh, having dinner with people, going to the movies. You know, I mean, that sort of thing? No, I mean, w I mean when, when she's, she's with someone. When she's oh, in the act, oh, what else yes. could she be doing? Trying to get love. I think that's an example of how she's not actually in right. risky behavior. Yes. She's fulfilling her need for love. Anything else? She's expressing love, or her version of it, I guess. And I have one. Would you like to hear it? Yes. She could be asking him to use a condom. 
You don't know. Anything else she could be doing? Uh, separating from me and uh, expressing her autonomy around, you know, being a teenager, separating from parents. Okay. So when I hit those things that you just are naming, separating from me, and I looked at how I react when I believe that thought, I think <laughs> risky sexual behavior is safer for her than being with me emotionally. Now, that may not be the case in your case, but I can tell you, anytime my children were not with me, I'm grateful. And I have another one if you want to hear it. Yes. I know it's true. If I have been sexually assaulted and now I can have sex with somebody, that's pretty big. If I am trying to be comfortable with my... In my own sexuality. If I'm trying to make my way out of that. To trust again. I think that's a big deal. Because some women can't ever be touched again. So she's stories. not engaging in risky sexual behavior. For all we know, she's in therapy. Thank you. Thank you. You're very brave. <laughs> 